time. Time is the currency of life. And what does that mean? Well, time is non-existent. It's just, it's not a man-made thing. It's mathematics. It's the way the, the sun is the center of our, of our solar system. And, you know, as you know, the Earth revolves around the sun in a very circular pattern. And the Earth spins on an axis, giving us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year many hours, many minutes to use up. And it's all divided into sections, as we know, of weeks, months, years, and sometimes we have leap years. But within all that, within space, there is us floating on a planet in space. <laughs> of course, that's where we are now. But for me, money isn't the currency of life, it helps, but time really is. Because without time, you cannot plan. The first thing you do before going to sleep is set your alarm. The first thing you do when you wake up is you check the time, if you have to work, that is. Or if you have an appointment or whatever's happening when you plan. Structure is very important, and planning is very, very important. Now, many years ago, I never used to be like that. I used to be always late. I used to be rushing about, driving fast to work, being just on time, because I used to set the amount of time for, say, 20 minutes or 40 minutes or an hour to get to work. Um, and I used to just make it, and I used to be, oh, thank God, so I just made it. And it never clicked. It never got to me that why didn't I just add an extra 20 minutes on my travel, just to relax. And I did, but only five years ago I started doing that. And why, I have no idea. Maybe I just realized that, you know, for, for most of my life, like working, that I was never really late. I always made it on time, but I was always rushing, being very, very, very late and organizing as well. So I started to look at my whole life completely different in a way that, okay, what is a priority right now? Everything down to cooking, to cleaning, um, washing, um, all sorts of things. So my, like, my weekly routine, when I have to do a wash day, it's the first thing I do as soon as I get up in the morning because in, in England in the winter, then um, clothes take longer to dry, like if you leave them hanging. Um, in the summertime, they don't take so long, but regardless, we don't know, we can't predict the weather. It can always change here in England. So on like laundry days where I have to um, wash clothes, then it's the first thing I do when I wake up. I usually have a bit of water, just get dressed or whatever I need to do quickly, and then just put things straight in the, in the washer. And then hang them up and I leave them hanging for a bit or a few days, and then I put them in, in the dryer. So it's like, it's like priorities, what takes the longest thing to do. Um, cooking. I get compliments on my cooking, like how fast I cook, like how did I just make this big meal in like 5, 10, 20 minutes. And it's like, you have to look what takes the longest thing to do, like don't chop up the vegetables first and then and then get them done or whatever, you, you know, cut, cut up the tofu or whatever you're making, um, do the, the rice or the couscous first, you know, because the water takes the longest to boil. If you do that first and you do things that take the longest, then you'll make a, make a dish very, very fast. And in the time of things simmering, boiling, then wash up along the way. Um, because otherwise you've got this whole pile of washing up to do at the end of you've eaten. And to be honest, how I, cook is I do everything that way. I boil the water first, I make a millet, millet grain, which is like a, like a, I guess like a couscous in a way, or I do couscous or quinoa, or I do like wild black rice, um, or some pasta, um, some like, you know, gluten-free, wheat-free pasta. And 
yeah, the water takes the longest. And in that time of that doing that and just cutting up vegetables and I wash things up along the way. And the only thing to wash up at the end is, is, is the plates or the bowls that I've been eating out of. So that, that's this how you, you know, how I've learned to just deal with life um, in a way where I'm much more relaxed. And in the time of washing up, then I listen to things that I like, a bit of music or something on YouTube, something educational or something I'm interested in. And it just helps the, the time to go, go by much, much easier. But time and the currency of life, like what, what else can we use time to really help us you know, utilize life and that's utilizing your time, not procrastinating, you know. Um, I've seen people just keep watching things on TV all the time and they're not using their time wisely, you know. It's like, well, just learn a language a little bit throughout the day or do a little bit of a course or educate yourself on something. Um, I've seen people just be like couch potatoes and every time I've been around a house and I've seen their relative or friend just sat in front of the TV the whole time and it was like, okay, I'm not judging, but it's like, what can we do to, or what can I do to really utilize as much time as I can to, to do things? And I've had compliments before in the past, like, wow, you've done all these courses, great, you've done, you've done it so fast. And to be honest, when I was about to do it, I didn't want to do it. I just wanted to relax. And I was like, well, I know that if I do this the first, then I can relax. And that's the same thing in my home. Like I, I tidy up every day. I give a bit of a sweep or a hoover. Um, I dust, I make the bed and I'm just in my head and like in a meditative state or listen to some music and just going around, just tidying up, dustying and, you know, and you're in a meditative state then. And so you're, you're utilizing that time because then everything is tidy. It's the things that have been done. And if you really do struggle with this, then make yourself like a, I don't know, like a timetable or a calendar or to do, to do list, you know, things that need to need to be done. Um, utilizing time is, is very important. Um, and most of all, and, and if you are working um, and you're always late, um, really just you know, leave five, ten minutes earlier than you would normally because then you're absorbing everything around you. You're listening to the radio or music and, you know, what happens if there's an accident along the way or not with yourself, but like in traffic or there is traffic or there's a route diversion on a road or you wanted to stop and help somebody or you forget to fuel up, you know, your, your vehicle. All these things can happen and that's what goes through my head. So I, I plan and... When I say these things to people, they think I'm being stressed out about it. It's like, no, I'm just planning, okay? I know that looking on Google Maps, it takes me half an hour to get to a destination, but I'm gonna give myself 45 minutes because I don't be rushing about, I can just take my time. So it's like, I, I do that and I'm never usually late. I can usually calculate the, to the exact minute when I will turn up to a place. I'm usually 80, 75% of the time correct and usually quite spot on with that and if i am if i am a bit early then i go to a shop first or just sit in my car or just enjoy just being outside looking at the fresh air getting some sun and yeah it's just it's a very meditative experience of really being more present in the moment and utilizing the time as best you can and and that's what time is time is being in the present moment and when you are when you are in the present moment and you're utilizing that time to be in the past you're not in the past you're in a memory you're not and also if you're thinking about the future too much in fear or or, or guilt or concern or or anything or anxiety i mean happiness is is it can be similar like you you're excited about something but you're not present so whatever emotion that you're in is stopping you from being in this present moment then you're not utilizing this time to its full content you're not being present with everything and that's when you are present that's when you allow for thoughts to come to you intuition ideas uh, more connection with your guides the list goes on so what can you do what can you do right now to really be in this present moment in this time and it's really having structure <coughs> excuse me so really utilize this time as best you can. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, have a great day.